Hello, uh, dear friends, brothers and sisters. So this is the uh, next uh, uh, video, uh, you know, uh, and uh, in our uh, uh, series of uh, absolute uh, happiness. And as we discussed in the uh, last video, that uh, you see, until we start experiencing what we call as this temporary happiness consistently, right? How are we actually going to move towards what we call as absolute happiness, which is not dependent on this environment, which is not dependent, you see, on our desires, which is not dependent on basically uh, what we want, uh, you know, or what we are focusing on, right? Uh, so the uh, title of uh, this uh, video is uh, Peace in Turbulent Times. So naturally, that is what we are seeking, you see, because at present, the times are turbulent only from the perspective that, uh, you know, uh, suddenly we have been thrown off course, you see, by this uh, epidemic, coronavirus uh, 19. But then, what is the store in the future, you know? Are these turbulent times uh, going to continue? As I mentioned in the last video, we are at the very brink of uh, the change of evolution of one cycle uh, to another. So, but but still, uh, you know, that's uh, some time away. Uh, so this focuses that uh, in the present times, while we sit at home, you know, and it has uh, led to a lot of depression, you know, a lot of, uh, you see, negative mental conditioning, uh, you know, emotional unhappiness, you know, uh, really a lot of people have lost their jobs, uh, you know, a lot of industries have actually shut down. So how do we overcome a lot of this negative energy which has been actually built, right? But on the other hand, the positive side is that we as human beings now can think very widely, you know, that it is all actually one family, really, that is how we are. So we have to start at the very basic unit, you know, start with yourself, start with the people, you know, the family members uh, who are sitting around you, like your parents, maybe your siblings, you know, uh, brothers or sisters, uh, you know, some younger, some older with whom you may be uh, staying. So it has got to start somewhere, right? And uh, what I want to talk about uh, in this particular video is, uh, I want to talk about uh, just the four letters, L-O-V-E, which is love, right? Look, uh, love is something which is actually belonging to what we call as the spirit or God itself or what you may call as the self or Brahman or, you know, Christ, you see, uh, whatever uh, name you want to use. So, you see, pure love is selfless and it is universal, right? What you and me and everyone possess all the time without any break is this universal love. But you may, you may say that, uh, you know, Anilji is saying, oh, universal love, but where it is, right? Where it is, it's right here. As I'm actually talking to you and as you're actually listening to this video. You see, look in front of you, right? You know, me appearing in this video and everything which is there around us. Look, look around everywhere. Can you see that this view, it appears to you? Look at it. Look at it very carefully. There is no thought. There is no feeling. Right? You may be focused on what I'm talking. But even then, wherever you are sitting, however you are sitting, whatever is actually around you, the view is actually present, right? And the view appears intuitively. You know why? 
because this is the love of your true nature or the love of that spirit there is never any interference in this this is universal love right but then what happens is you see uh, there is sam or there is jack or there is a uh, geeta ji uh, or you know silish ji or anil ji or whatever the name right here you sit in your room suddenly you know you are supposed to work from home or you can't go to work or maybe suddenly there is unemployment right but still you've got enough a roof over your head food to eat right but you are caught up in judging these images around you your environment is another image around you and in this judgment you lose touch and this is where we have lost touch with our true human nature remember i said it is one complete family of human beings right and remember that love and love alone can overcome anything anything that is actually either stressing you right or creating issues for you as this love is actually beyond the boundaries of even this space and time this is universal love and it is actually right here so where do we start you see first of all start loving yourself right start loving your thoughts start loving your feelings because these are immense beautiful gifts given by mother nature to human beings you know from the perspective to where i sit and from where i communicate to me you see just that there is a human being just that there is a human being and i can actually talk to him i can communicate that is all what a wonderful gift you know how lovely actually it is think that if this thing is not there well where are your worries you know and where is your stress okay now going further right first of all uh, don't have negative thoughts or feelings within yourself that is what i'm talking about start loving yourself love your eyes that see you know love your organs you know uh, love the stomach which helps to digest love the heart which actually is helping to uh, beat sorry i pointed at the spiritual heart and the physical heart is here uh, this is the etheric heart here now the thing is that you see uh, i'm going to give you some exercises which will relieve you of the stress you see when you stretch your arms of course uh, i'll i'll stretch them in front and then when you take them sideways you know your spirit is actually all around you where your where your hands are when you stretch them all around you where your hands are that's where your spirit is right or the atma and that is from where this universal love is flowing into you and from you everywhere right so this is the very simple exercise you see these are my two thumbs and this is actually where this love actually is right there right so just gently touch gently touch your thumbs right now touch your fingers right touch the fingers now just take all of them and touch like that right so 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 this is a, actually a very simple exercise but uh, you know you can practice this any time anywhere especially when negative thoughts come and you will find that when actually you've done this uh, you know uh, uh, just for maybe 2 minutes or even 45 seconds you suddenly feel a lot of peace the second exercise you see you take the uh, uh tip of your two fingers right or this way and you touch between the eyebrows right and you can do this with your right hand right and then also touch the tip of your nose right so now what is actually happening is that this universal energy is directly flowing because this is a short circuit 
right? A direct circuit created. This is another direct circuit created. This is another direct circuit created, right? So, do these as simple exercises. And the other thing is that look, develop love for yourself, respect for yourself, and let that love and that respect flow to your parents, you know, to your loved ones, right? And let that love actually flow right out into the universe, right? I'll uh, just give a, a simple uh, prayer as well, originally given by Swami uh, Vivekananda, and it has been given by Sage Ramana and my own uh, master, uh, uh, Bianca uh, Juno, from where I've given these exercises, right? This is that may all beings find happiness, may all beings find peace, May all beings find bliss. Thank you, my Lord, or thank you, whatever is the name, the God you believe in. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, I hope that uh, this uh, video will be useful to you, and especially the exercises. But you know, it goes without saying that until you try and practically prove this for yourself, uh, you know, and you get the experience of what we have discussed, then this is just another talk. You know, these are like words on water, which will just simply drift away. Uh, thank you, uh, dear and loved uh, uh, listener, for listening to this video.